My name is Colin Grant. I'm an endangered species biologist at the Fish and Wildlife Office in Sacramento, California, the Bay Delta Office. And I was the lead biologist on the 12-month finding for longfin smelt. The longfin smelt's a small, about three and a half to four and a half inch fish. And it's an anadromous species, so it spends most of its life in salt water and brackish water, but it does go upstream to spawn in fresh water. It's also a pelagic species, spending most of its life in open waters away from the shorelines. Longfin smelt in the Bay Delta are found all the way up the rivers to all the way out in the ocean. So they'll, they'll spawn up in fresh water in the San Joaquin and Sacramento rivers, and then they'll use the flow to make their way, their larvae will make their way down into Sassoon Bay, Sassoon Marsh, San Pablo Bay. And then later in their life cycle, they'll move out to the San Francisco Bay and even out into the Gulf of Fairlands because they find more food out there later in their life cycle. Longfin smell are found in about 20 different areas and those are lakes and rivers and estuaries and that range is all the way from the San Francisco Bay Delta here all the way up to Cook Inlet in Alaska, so it's a big range. Things that make longfin smelt different than delta smelt. Longfin do have longer pectoral fins than delta smelt. Uh, longfin smelt also can tolerate a higher salinity than delta smelt. So they can, they can make their way out into the ocean, which delta smelt can't do. For the ecosystem to fully function, you need all the species in the ecosystem. So when you take species out of the ecosystem, it's kind of like taking pages out of a book. No longer can you fully understand the book, and in the same way, the ecosystem can no longer fully function. So in the Bay Delta here, longfin smelt are historically a forage fish, so a lot of different fish eat longfin smelt. So you're taking food away from other fish when we lose the longfin smelt. Longfin smelt are also an indicator of the health here in the Bay Delta ecosystem. So if the longfin smelt is declined and other species are declining, which we're seeing, then it means the whole ecosystem in general is in decline. 